What's going on there YouTube? This is Quinn, that snazzy iPhone guy, and today is Triple T Terminal Tip Tuesday. Hope you guys are doing great. I'm very excited to get into Triple T. Uh, we got a good one today, and so uh, get ready, get your rumble straps on. Uh, or what have you. Uh, before we get started, I want to give a shout out to my slacker mind. Matt does an excellent job on his channel. I don't typically do shout outs and you guys know that. Uh, so it is definitely one I want you guys to check out. Another thing is, if you guys remember, I did my video response video earlier this morning. Uh, I'm taking questions and answers. I want to know everything that you guys want to ask me and I will be more than happy to answer what I can. So if you go back and watch the last video, you'll get all the instructions and details included within that and uh, we can get that video response video up on Saturday, Sunday. All right, so uh, let's do it. Let's get into Triple T Terminal Tip Tuesday. All right, so here we are at the Mac OS X login screen. I'm not gonna exaggerate, it's not all that eventful. There's not a heck of a lot to see, but you will notice that there is this stock wallpaper image. It's the Aurora image that's included with uh, uh, 10.6 Snow Leopard as well as 10.5 Regular Leopard. So, you know, this image isn't bad and granted you're only on the login screen for a few seconds at a time. So it's not a big deal that it's there, but through Terminal you do have the ability to change this to any wallpaper you want. So I'm going to show you how to do this using Terminal. Let's get started. All right, so now that you've got your system ready to go, we are going to show you how to make your wallpaper user replaceable. So what you're gonna to need to do first is actually find a wallpaper. If you have one on hand, that's great, but if you don't, follow these instructions. Open your browser, I use Google Chrome, and you're now going to need to find your screen resolution. So you can go to what's my screen, resolution.com, and when you go to what's my screen, resolution.com, these numbers right here will tell you what your screen resolution is. Mine is 1920 by 1080. It's very important that you choose the file that uh, pertains to your wallpaper size. It's very, you know, it's something you want. So yours may not be 1920 by 1080. If it isn't, don't worry. That's just the resolution of your screen. My monitor happens to be full 1080p HD, which is 1920 by 1080. Remember these numbers. Now we're going to go to google.com. People wonder where I get my wallpapers like it's some storehouse that I've stockpiled and only I can find them. No, I just do a Google image search. So go to Google Images. One keyword I like to use and find most of my wallpapers is abstract. When you type abstract in, it's going to pop up a bunch of images. Now the problem with these is these aren't actually scaled to your computer yet. They're not perfectly fit for your screen. So you're going to type exactly. If you see that right here on the left side, you're going to find an exactly button and you're going to need to enter your screen resolution. Now yours may be different, but remember mine was 1920 by 1080. You're going to press search and this is going to dumb down or filter the results to only match the ones that fit your screen resolution. So this is a pretty one. Click it, then click full size image right there and uh, it will load to its full potential. You do want the full size image. Don't save the thumbnail or else you're not gonna get the 1080 uh, by nine, or the 1920 by 1080 image or in your case, whatever uh, resolution you have. So you're going to right click once you've got this image pulled up in its full resolution. If your computer's being finicky, you're going to press option click. Come on. There we go, sorry. Uh, Google Chrome is save image as, okay. I'm going to save mine as background.jpg. I'm only saving it as a JPEG because I know it's a JPEG file. Uh, I like this wallpaper. I've downloaded it before. And when you search for wallpapers, the majority of them, I'd say 98% of them, are in a .jpg file. If they're not, if they're in a ping or a TIFF, you need to convert those. It's very important that you do. You can just save them to your desktop and then open them with uh, Apple's preview application and then save as a JPEG codec. But you do need the JPEG codec to you know, it's very important that you have that. So we are going to save it to our desktop just to make things easy on us. Press save and you'll see that there it is. Boom, there's our wallpaper. Now we need to open terminal to be able to uh, type the command to get this replaced. So we've got terminal up. If you don't know how to access terminal, you can do a spotlight search, T-E-R-M-I-N-A-L, or go to the utilities folder under the application section on your Mac. So you're gonna to need to type two commands. I would recommend that you type these as it is pretty important you do it correctly. You don't want any spaces or anything extra, but the commands are below if you are pretty, if you're feeling pretty good about yourself. So uh, you're gonna type sudo, which uh, essentially accesses your administrative privileges. 
you're accessing system files and it can be dangerous and so your password is going to ask you or your computer is going to ask you for your admin password because you can and it shouldn't and you won't if you follow my directions but you can screw stuff up so you do need to be careful follow my directions it won't be a problem but sudo is just letting your computer's letting you know hey you're accessing files we don't really want you to touch so unless you know what you're doing this is our warning to tell you to get out. Okay, so I mean it's not a big deal though. If you're don't freak out, don't stop watching the video. It's fine so long as you follow these directions. So type type sudo, then mv slash system slash library. Uh, this is all case sensitive, so please capitalize what is capitalized. Core services slash default desktop dot p and or excuse me dot jpeg. Okay, then you're going to type a space slash system slash library slash uh, core services slash default desktop dot jpeg dot old. Essentially what we're doing is archiving the old file that we don't need, that Aurora desktop image. We still want it on our computer, we still want it on our system, because if we do need to recover it for one reason or the other, it's there. But we're basically telling it, hey, get out of the way, we want this new wallpaper to come in. Press enter, it will ask you for your admin password, we are going to give it that and it will return a line as if nothing happened. Fear not, something did happen and you're ready to go. So now we need to replace the image on the desktop with the image in uh, the system settings. So we're going to type sudo cp space and now you're going to drag your file. If you know the path you can hand type the path but that's annoying. So take your background.jpg file and drag it into the terminal window. It's going to type out the path automatically for you. Good, we're ready to go. And then you're going to type slash system slash library slash core services. And now we're renaming and addressing this file. Slash uh, default desktop dot jpg. Press enter. Again, looks like nothing happened, but we are ready to go. So let's see the finished product. All right, so we've just rebooted our computer, and as you can see, the wallpaper that we chose has taken effect. The Aurora wallpaper is out of the way, and the custom selected one we chose is now taking full effect. Again, it's a very minor tip, but it is one that is pretty handy that allows you to customize areas of the OS that Apple doesn't necessarily want you to. It doesn't want void your warranty. It doesn't do anything of that sort. So don't be worried to do it. It's fun, and if you don't like it, you can revert it back to the way it was by the commands below. Hopefully this was a terminal tip that you enjoyed. If it was, please subscribe, rate, and comment. And as always, stay snazzy. See you later, folks.